this is gonna be a survival episode out of a cave I've already been hiking quite a bit with a not so light backpack at all but we got all the gear we need in that backpack to survive in a cave to spot anything that may just look like a snake but is a stick or actually being a snake one day I want to start blowing through you Eww. <laughs> we are sailing through a cave that's where we're going all the way down there for not giving up <laughs> after days and days of just catching herring and nothing else have a look at that that stuff here falling on my ass and we doubled let's see if we can get them both up yep that is what I'm talking about the herring slayer out here for four days and four nights in a cave man what an experience I will never forget those memories all those caves having seals next to me on a rock dolphins swimming next to where I was fishing the whole experience being out in the nature for so long what it may have been living in a cave like a caveman it has also been hard work at times don't get me wrong I feel my knees I feel my hands and that's the caveman thanks for joining me Eww. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Cave Life. I just woke up and it wasn't the warmest night's sleep, let's put it that way. That's why I'm also wearing a jacket below my inner liner in my sleeping bag. But let's stick our head outside the tent and have a look what it looks out there. Man, this is cool. All right. I think the wind has actually calmed down a little bit compared to what it was last night. I think it blew a bit underneath the tent there and cooled me down a bit. So it was a bit fresh, but anyways, let's get our fishing gear ready and let's get down there, set up a rope, get ready. All right, here we go again. This time we're going in this direction and trying out another spot too go fishing and hopefully be a bit more successful today I already run down there early this morning just after getting up and checked out the swell got my rope positioned down there so I don't have to stick that as well in my backpack and already put a few camps in the crack as well after scouting out where we're gonna fish so that may save us a little bit of time now as well And I would like to, first of all, try fishing that zone down there. Hopefully, the different conditions, a bit overcast today, will help us to eat something different than herring again. I was just starting to get ready to set up a rope, secure myself here in case there are bigger waves than expected. And there's still a bit more of that stuff like on the sky. But have a look at that. How beautiful. One big rainbow going kind of right into my cave here how cool is that and i really don't like rain now my socks are wet from below and i've been rained out from above i quickly run up made sure that the firewood that i collected yesterday is gonna stay dry we're all good there but i'm gonna get the ropes ready to go fishing put a line in catch something decent and be a happy caveman again 
And you guys can probably kind of see that stuff here. If I would wear anything but my socks right now, I would make nothing but falling on my ass. So this is why I wear those socks. They give me reasonable grip. And we're also going to use that rope as backup. And I'm already wearing my PFD as well. See the water running down everywhere, which is just fresh rainwater. So I could literally collect it and stay out here for as long as I want to eat herring. Or we'll see what else we may catch today here. All right, that's a pretty good anchor here. That's gonna definitely hold me in place and I won't be washed in and I can get down there to land fish. There's a ton of herring already attracted by my burly here. So I'm quickly gonna, now you can probably see them a bit easier. I'm quickly gonna catch a few to stock up on bait and you never know. That won't take long, straight in the zone and on. And lost them. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm gonna hook up on every cast here, I guess. Huh? Not get in. Alrighty. And the first one. Straight away on. And we doubled. Let's see if we can get them both up. Yep. That is what I'm talking about. The herring slayer. Right, first piece of herring going out here. Let's have a look what else. This spot got an offer other than herring. And hopefully it's not too snaggy down there. Should be really something decent down there somewhere. And hopefully I'm not getting too wet here again. At least I got my rain jacket on. What amazing views around me here, hey? I think we may have just been nibbled up. That's all I've seen, nibbled. That was hopefully just my sinker. Oh no, the whole lot. Alright. Next piece of herring going out. I had to re-rig. Let's try to send that out a bit further. That didn't quite work. The wind is not in my favor. So it's not going to be the same again. Dolphins, just in front of us here. So far nothing other than herring. I tried everything, I tried bait, just got snagged or nibbled off. There's plenty of herring around on the little metal, but now let's give a soft plastic a solid crack here I would say. Hopefully without getting too wet again. spot as much as I love the scenery around me here and take a look at what it looks like behind me one two three especially that one enormous cave like man what a view but nothing other than herring in here plenty full of those I got a few as a backup in my cool bag but I'm gonna go around the corner fish there for a little bit see how we go worst case we're gonna crank up the fire and have herring again I'm starving. I haven't eaten since like six hours or something.
when I first saw the cave, I was like, wow, like a light bulb moment. I need to stay in that cave. I want to make that experience and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. But I didn't have a set time and plan and it just evolved and grew naturally like throughout the time being here. And it has been a very amazing, unique experience and I'm very grateful that I got this nature around me so I can actually enjoy it as much and, and do those things that I love doing the most. It has been an awesome place to actually set up camp and stay here and I'm glad that I have modern conveniences like even just the tent or the fishing gear to catch my own dinner. It must have been a whole different story back then for people living in places like those. We had all kinds of weather, beautiful sunshine, blue skies and we also had downpours. It was raining, it was bucketing down. That's why I had to gather firewood for example and put it in dry places and I just gathered some more firewood for the cook-up later on. The wind had like one major effect. I thought there must be some good fishing places around here, but I couldn't really fish those because the wind is just blowing from that direction where the water seems to be the deepest. So as I got the time on hand at the moment, I decided to stay here one more night at least. This morning I started setting up ropes for an epic, huge rock. Setting up ropes took a while. So I got two ropes in place, two anchor points. In total it must be around close to 100 meters of rope that I'm using. All that is gonna happen tomorrow. And you can definitely look forward to that as I am. This looks like definitely deep water and tomorrow the wind is gonna be in our favor at that spot as well. But for today, I just gonna grab my fishing gear and exploring a bit in the other direction. So we're probably gonna end up catching some herring again, hooking them up on the fire later on here again. I really appreciate being in this beautiful country, in this beautiful state, Western Australia, that has still so much wilderness and such little population and all those places to discover. And thanks for having me, Australia. And just next to my cave was just perfectly inviting to store some firewood out of the elements. Over the past few days I got quite familiar with the whole surroundings here obviously. <laughs> I know it like the pockets in my pants. Um, this here is one of the tracks out of it. It's one of the quicker ones but I don't like to use it when I'm very heavy because it is a bit steep and I haven't got a rope in place here. But let me just show you how I'm sometimes getting in and out here. You got all those all those little caves and like formations. The other day I climbed in there and you got like a window you can stick your head out. Man, I could just endless like film just even all the cave explorations. Let's get up to the surface. Hello! This cool looking big rock behind me is what I explored in depth this morning. I'm not sure if my finger is pointing in the right direction. For my direction it is. There's a rope starting, a yellow rope going through one of those caves down there. And then there's a second rope in place. And we're going to be fishing right down there sort of.
just a bird. Always watching my feet out here, even though I'm very familiar with like those, well, let's call them tracks. There aren't really tracks here. Um, always trying to spot anything that may just look like a snake, but is a stick or actually being a snake one day. So my eyes are always down there. I don't want to get bitten here by a snake. I got a good first aid kit with me. Um, but in case of a of a snake bite, I would likely need to get rescued here pretty quickly and get anti-serum. Um, that's why I got my PLB in my pocket here. Personal location beacon. So I could send out an emergency with my GPS location. Um, and I also got some Velcro straps with me so I could strap up the bite wound and then just lay down, stay calm, then let it be with my hip belt here on my backpack or let it be with the harness from climbing. It always does some magic and uh, I need to turn you guys off for a second and dig a little hole and have some privacy. Alrighty guys, finally back on our exploring mission for today. Trying to catch something other than hopefully herring. Just picked up the light gear just in case I can't get anything else. Then it's at least going to be a bit more fun. Alrighty, I think we are slowly but surely getting closer to some fishable grounds here. But here the wind seems to be behind us and if we can get down there on those ledges, there could be good grounds here. Yeah, I reckon we managed to get down there. along that line here could be quite good and the wind is finally sort of blowing in our favor it would be nice to have something different for dinner today than herring again I'm sure they will be around here as well and no shortage put on one of those hack of bubble makers whatever they call it that's what I call them 20 gram on that and that should fly like a bullet and straight on stay hooked buddy always dropping it straight away and here we are on again and I can see them down there so many even if I drop one there's like probably 30 behind it he's a bit smaller again can you see them down there it might be fell up but it might be well up Back out there. See where his mates are. Come on, we invite us out for a little barbecue party tonight. Who wants to join? Some of your friends are already on the guest list and menu. Oh, I can see them all coming. Yep, 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 yep. He's pulling drag. Is he failed? Yep, he is. I thought he felt a bit better. Thanks 
that you have been listening to the invite for the barbecue tonight. You are very welcome. Come on, one more. Maybe one more afterwards. Yep, and we are on. Feels decent. Yep, we got a little bit weight to it. Alright, not, we're not going hungry, that's good. Yep, and we are on. Must be the hook is set nicely. Oh, they're all behind him. Let's have a look if we can get him up. Yep, beautiful. Yep, straight on and straight dropped him again. Let's try that one more time. And they're straight onto it. Here we go. So much fun on the light here. Three, two, one. Oh, it feels like a goodie. Come on, buddy, stay on. You're very welcome to our dinner party. Yeah, he feels good. All right, that's heaps for dinner. Not a bad little haul for like, oh, maybe half an hour session like for some herring. I could have caught more, but I'm gonna keep the two small ones for bite. Those four are gonna join us on the barbecue party. And I quickly get those ready for the most simple way. We got maybe about an hour before it's actually uh, starting to get dark. And I would like to get on to setting up a fire, get those ones ready. I'm hungry, um, so let's get on to it. I get those prepared, chuck them in the esky, cool back, and then we get out of here. All right, the herring are nice. We packed everything up and are hiking out of here. Take a little shortcut through that little cave here. Yes, we can. The wind is still blowing through here. That'd be a spot to set a tent as well. Stay at night. Ew! Echo! The, at the cave, at the home base, press the last steps here, down the rocks. Man, I'm hungry. All right, let's get that fire cranking. I already dropped a bit of my fishing gear quickly at the bottom of the hill where we want to fish tomorrow. Anyways, we we'll get the fire going and get some food on there.
Ah, oh, what a nice fire. Oh, we got plenty of firewood for sure. It's always nice to know as well. I just lean back and relax for a moment. It's been a lot of hiking, climbing, upsetting, setting up ropes. And I haven't eaten for hours. I'm definitely hungry, but this is just nice. Being home, having a fire, keeping me warm. Our salt, pepper, garlic, chili mix. We're gonna get started making use of our coals here. But now we're just gonna improvise. I know that master chef here, obviously. Alrighty, guys. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but it's absolutely going off in there sizzling so we add a bit more of the ingredients plenty of garlic butter as well and our tomatoes I think dinner is ready and I think we got an absolute winner going on here fresh caught herring and a slightly spicy garlic tomato lemon sauce oh yeah that looks good alrighty I just had it cooling down a little bit let's give it a try hey let's see what our creation is like oh wow that's delicious a little bit spicy a little bit garlic quite nice Alrighty guys, hope you can see me here. I'm just gonna enjoy that. Kick back, sit by the fire for a bit longer. But I also wanna call it an early night. There's gonna be a lot of fishing happening tomorrow and I really wanna catch a big fish tomorrow. So I put you aside, enjoy my evening, relaxing by the fire, finish that delicious meal. And then I guess I'll see you guys in the morning again. You.